and the title of the simulation uh, we won't be uh, taking any output from the uh, ro uh, rotor of the motor okay that is uh, the hull sensor is absent in this simulation uh, so to get the position of the rotor we will be uh, using the back emf to predict the uh, position of the rotor okay so the prediction will be done uh, with the help of uh, here and model here so uh, uh, the back emf will be uh, measured and it will be given to the a neural network uh, to produce the corresponding gate pulses okay so uh, based on the uh, input that is coming based on the output that is coming from the neural network block we will be uh, sending in the gate signals okay right so this is the regular uh, bldc motor uh see we will be doing the uh, bldc motor simulation just by using the permanent magnet synchronous machine block the only difference is here we will be using the trapezoidal back emf see if you put sinusoidal back emf that uh, that will again become uh, permanent magnet synchronous machine if you put trapezoidal back emf here uh, the machine will become a bldc motor so that's the only difference between PMSM and BLDC motor. Uh, here we have the PID controller. So with this PID controller, we are going to uh, uh, control the speed of the BLDC motor. Let us simulate the simulation. Okay, the simulation is running. The simulation is running. It has stopped. Let us zoom it. So, if you zoom it, uh, you can uh, see the speed. You can see it uh, settling at 1500 RPM. Okay. Again, also, you can see the uh, stator. Uh, currents okay yes yeah, these are the stator currents yes. that's it so if you want this uh, model you can download it from the uh, website from my website matlab uh, school dot store uh, the same link is available in the description uh, you can use it please subscribe our channel and then support us thank you